Hey everybody, I want to make a quick video on the uh, crab trap regulations for 2016-2017 uh, season in California. So right now, the regulations are for this circle here, the opening has to be four and a half inches, as you can see. It uh, looks like maybe four inches on the circle. So what they want now is uh, five inches between the openings from corner to corner here and corner to corner here. And then this is held on by a biodegradable string. It's basically cotton. So what's going to happen if you leave your pots in too long, these will break down and then the crabs, this will fall away and then the crabs can get out of this little hole here. You can see on this side, it's locked in. I don't know why that's even there if it's not. But anyway, that's just how the pots are. So I'm going to show you um, what I saw at uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Outdoor Pros shop. I saw how they modified the crab cage to be uh, California compliant. And uh, I'm going to pause the video and come back to it and show you what I did. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try to piece the two videos together. So I've made this crab pot now California compliant. So what I did, the edges of the square, I bent them down. I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but I bent these down. This is my assistant, Estelle. Say hi, Steli. Hi. Can you help me build a crab trap? Yeah, be careful with them tools. So now, from corner to corner on here, as you can see, whoops, it's five inches there. So not the circle itself, but the corners of the uh, square. And that, might, that one might be kind of hard to see because I got all that cotton in the way. Let's measure it one more time here. So looking down, it's five inches, corner to corner. And that's what makes it compliant. So I just tie the knot here, loop it around, kind of go back and forth, as you can see. Tie a big, ugly, nasty knot here because I'm not a sailor and my knots are awful. So I figure if I tie enough of them, uh, hopefully the crabs don't learn how to untie them. Uh, we shall see. But that's basically the only thing you have to do to make them compliant for this season. So I hope somebody finds this helpful. Sorry that my camera, camera skills suck. And uh, good luck. So here's another shot. Uh, I just bent them. I want to do another one so you can see it before I had it all tied up. So if you can see the kind of the way the dimensions are, you can see how the corners, I just literally just bent them down, which just increased the gap uh, from corner to corner. So I'll go from underneath here. As you can see, I did way more than about five and a half inches. I don't think it'll pose a problem. Um, I'm more than compliant because they have about five and a half inches to get out. So um, it gives me plenty of room to know that I'm legal. So even if something happens where these bend back into place, which I don't see how they could, but more than compliant to California standards. So again, all I did was take a pair of pliers and I just grabbed them right here, just pull down on them a little bit so you get a little bit of a bend in there. And then put the ring here, tie a string on right to the corner and just go back and forth, make kind of a star between these and finish it up. Just tie a couple good knots so they don't uh, get undone and uh, that should be all you need to do.